So I would like to welcome uh, all of you to the introductory webinar for Artificial Intelligence, Business Analytics, and Bioinformatics HND programs. So let us uh, begin the program without further delay. Then may Vadasatahana Arambaki Rimata, Mama Iselama Aradhana Karanava, Sri Lanka Padana Maitane, Upan Itimapatam and Isimagayavana, Niamita Marga Penvadena, Adyapana Adyaksha Acharya Vijayatna Mahatata. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Mr. Oshandi Lima, County Director. Mr. Uday Bandara, Public Relations Officer, Lincoln University and uh, SLFI. And all the lecturers who are participating. And my dear colleagues, and also representative from the North Shore campus. Today is the very special day for you because you have started your journey, academic journey from today. Interesting Sri Lanka Foundation Lincoln University, Malaysia, and North Shore campus. I think you will be able to end this journey within three years, having a world recognized certificate. Within two years, you will be able to have a HND certificate from the Sri Lanka Foundation Institute. So, I would love to welcome all of you to this program and the, our institute. Some of you may know about the institute and the background of our academic arena. Some may have visit our institute. Anyway, I would like to tell something about this program and Sri Lanka Foundation Institute. Sri Lanka Foundation Institute now currently operate under the Ministry of Mass Media. Previously, we were conducted under the Presidential Secretariat. We have conducting so many academic programs. Nearly 50 years. Anyway, Within few years, we were able to change our journey in collaboration with Lincoln University of Malaysia to offer the degree programs and postgraduate programs. Recently, uh, we have signed an MOU with nearly 25 convenient centers around the country to offer various areas of HND programs. Today, I am very happy to see the people, those who are engaging with us to obtain the national diploma in IE. 
I welcome all of you on behalf of Chairperson Champika Amarsekar and the staff of Sri Lanka Foundation Institute and uh, wish you all the best to have the national diploma, high national diploma in this program. And finally, you may have a degree within three years. So again, I'm going to start with a lot of work. Singhala Maddin, Adhyabane Labapu, Ayavana Bevin, Oun Sandahat, Vachana Kipyak, Singhala Basha Avinut Prakasha Karna Lesa Illi Mak Karna Labua, Inisa, I'm going to start with Adhyabana Patekitu Siyala, Inglisi Maddin, Tavattunat, Adhame Moolika Vada Satahane Di Handunna Dima, Singhala Maddin Utiyam Kodasak, Kalau itu ikhlas, kalau mana kerana nama mandel itu tiada kerana punya sah. Mereka sudah ni mula kerana demi ini mak single amat dengan ubah ke dengan ini bersama mama perkasa kerana Sri Lanka pada nama itu niat Malaysia be Lincoln Mishwidyalaya, Eka Badhav, Vidas, Istabar Shyapi, Upadi Saha Pasha, Upadi Pavatpi, Masanda Ha, Awbota, Givsumo kerana Pavanila, Hei Pratipalaya kerana dia ter. Raja itu ni apa na Sri Lanka pada nama itu ni, dan ada jenamaat yang mati dan sejata jatuh tiap 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 macam bimin, upadi sah pasca tu upadi pirinami macam amat teruk, upadi parta mala, vala adyapan ya hadaran na balapu tu mana sisian sanda, susah jati ke diploma parta mala vala pebat bimin macam tirne kara, ehi pratipalaya kiti yaitu mesiel uparta mala ikkam tanakasita Sielu sesun kolombat genavit kiri me tiben apa hasu ta awe sah. Pautjili kansiat mesan dah sambanda kerja kita yutu ikian adah sih. Api private public partnership pegat jangan tiernye kala. Ewa ge eni sah. Lanka awa bate tiben adya apun sesre pravinian lese salakan nortjo campus sekawa ge ayatan visipahat samagapi me chendi parta malawal pawat panna. Aku boleh tak kita semua kita kira, ini pertipal yang kita dieta siluma ansha vala, parta mala tiga kereta itu rasan pramanya, susah sejati ke diploma parta mala pawai tuan nat, eh upadi dakwa kenaya matat hakia vala bela dia nama, ecendi sahati ke pada nama itu ni orang, upadi sahati ke Lincoln Vishwidya le nut, memadya apa nak katit tu apa Samaga sambandnya mana, pujilikan se ayatan awal ini untuk mehewan nat, tirne kerela tiba. Nah ini sahaja me kriyatma kerana adyapan ke parta mala, nocho campus seking adyapan apa itu kriyatma kerana kaman Lincoln Vishwid dialer pada nama ayatan dekwa, mehi sahati ke pirinne mima, eva game adyena apa itu Mehewim, sah silabus sekasim, wibahag pebet bima sial lah. Me aitan ada kerja macam tu, sedaya benua. Ini sah buat raja pelikat, jatian dari pelikat, sahati gaya, parta mala bawa sahane di, labaga ni puluang, upadi dakwa, gaman kiri me, ekia wati benua. Ini sah buat jiwite, wasan awan tu dawasak puna, dawas. Sri Lanka pada nama aitan itu, Lincoln Vishwidyal itu. Not show campus ikat ikat tuh kerana kami pada serangan tu bersilu dengan nama. Itu am aderin, gawruin, pelikannya min silu dengan nama. Mas sarthak adya pernah pada serangan kami mawe upadi sahati kaya kelab agan nanti. Shaktiya dahiriya prarthana kermin. Lincoln Vishwidyale Desiya niyogite. Roshanti Lima nanti tu ma udah bandar nanti tu ma saha not show Vishwidyale Acara mandele, apa yang berdasar hal sambandan dengan silu ma ketika acara berun, tama unusum pelikannya min, sarat ke berdasar hal dengan subuh pada min, pada nama ayat ini min, mama niat dengan awa silu dengan awa, jaya bawa. Thank you all, over to you. Thank you, Dr. Vijay Ratna. Next, I invite Mr. Roshan, who is our country director.
He's the country director of Lincoln University in Malaysia, and he will speak a few words to you now. Very good morning. Very good morning to my colleagues, my friends, my dear students. In fact, my name is Roshan Dilima, appointed country director by the university to overlook administrative operations in Sri Lanka and Maldives. <clears throat> You have been addressed by Dr. Vijay Ratna, a fine piece of gentleman, head of academics of Sri Lanka Foundation Institution. And also this wonderful platform was created by uh, staff members. You all have been invited here to embark in a journey of artificial intelligence, to study artificial intelligence business analytics and uh, bio uh, business analytics and uh, bioinformatics, three different programs. Some of you must be studying artificial intelligence. Some of you must be studying business analytics. Some of you bioinformatics. Now, Dr. Vijay Ratna, was explaining uh, the collaboration of the institutions. Yeah. I think this is the first time the entire history of Sri Lanka, an international university has joined hands with a uh, state-owned institution, as well as uh, it, uh, Local established campus, though it's established locally, not show campus, it has all the standards to be an international campus. Basically, it's an international setup. So you all are in very good hands, in good hands. That's the first thing to see where are we now? Are we in good hands? Yes, you are in good hands. That is number one. Number two, I would like to just browse, as I can see on my left hand, as I speak to you, I could see Mr. Udaya Bandara is there, Dr. Vijay Ratna, Dr. Thanusha, Maduni, and also last and not least, Nishi. These are all colleagues, friends and my dear students. I can see your name list over here with some kind of, uh, some kind of, I would say some kind of uh, uh, expectation you have come. You may not know sometimes, you may not know, but today you have come here to embark on a journey to fulfill some career goal, mm -hmm. something there in your mind, somewhere in the mind, the corner. It's disturbing you, saying that I want to be this person. Mm -hmm. I want to do this in my life. If you just look at your life, you are around 20, 25, maybe, I don't know how old are you. But look at a general lifespan in our country is 50 to 75 under normal circumstances. The Samanya GVT Gatot Aurdu Panha Katha Pata 50 to 75. Lifespan, we call it lifespan 50 to 75. So now, if you are 25, let's assume that you are below 25. If you are living for 75 years, now that two thirds of the life has to be. We are looking at another two thirds of the life. You turn around and see back. 
you just turn around and see. Now, about five years ago, AI, artificial intelligence, or 10 years ago, artificial intelligence was on movies. Yeah, people can think, robots can think. Oh. If you can remember, some of you, you don't know. You all can't remember. We were, we were schooling, we were children, we were small kids at that time, about 20, 30 years ago. There was this movie called Night Rider, uh, TV series called Night Rider. Hmm? The artist was uh, David Hasselhoff. Late David Hasselhoff, he died. I mean, good art TV series. They watched it. He was very famous for Night Rider. It was his car, special car designed. A lot of artificial intelligence was incorporated in that car. You were not born even sometimes. Some of you were not born. 1992-3, uh, 1980s, late 80s, not Early 80s, late 80s. It was the most popular uh, TV series, Night Rider. This car was built based on artificial intelligence. This was a movie. Yeah? Car can talk. It can self-drive. It's bulletproof. Nice stories. Well, we never missed a minute of this movie. TV series. Nothing. Though we know in real life, no such car was existing. You know the manual transmission vehicles? Amaru in CTV bus, drive a night rider movie, when you get into a CTV bus, Leyland or Ashok Leyland bus. You see the driver's hassle of driving without the power steering and the auto transmission. The driver goes to the hell to drive his vehicle. But we are in the world, yeah. We are in the world of night riders. But yeah, artificial intelligence was incorporated in the car. It can self-drive. But we are in the world of artificial intelligence. We are the car can think. It can talk like a human. It can drive. Then it was a myth. It was a fairy, story, fairy tale story like it. Or a fairy tale like a story. Now it is a reality. Google is building a car like that. Uh, these people, Apple Corporation is building something like that. And also artificial intelligence incorporated everywhere. Business analytical software. Biotechnology software everywhere. Now people are demanding for AI. Traditional IT is expired now. AI cut the IT industry AI pull one. AI programming pull one. Machine learning pull one. Haraka pull one. Make pull one. Because things have changed. So Luckily, you all have understood this. This change is understood. I can tell you another story. When I took my O levels in 1993, when I sat for my O levels, after my O levels, usually there's a transition period for A levels. A level was a master high figure, Carl Ogolo, M. In that, my Carl is the Evacut Anugada, early 90s, computer present. Computer can name a look what a computer than in English class. That's how they go for an English class. That's all. No computers. But you know, for some reason, my father had gone for an overseas training. He has seen this computer. Computer, then he came back and he told that there's a machine like this. It was very nice, very methodical, advanced like a calculator, it has a big screen. And then we did a survey here, 
and he has found out that uh, one or two institutions they were offering courses for computer courses. Then my father said, "No, you have to go and learn this." So then I went to the nearest place to my house. There was a uh, open university, NIBM. Upti. They were called NIBM. Tama pick. IDM, NIBM. So I went there. There were about hundred students in my batch learning computer. Ne ni kamge computer DOS. Anu ganang. And hardly we saw a computer. Practical scene, ne maas ek apara keyboard ne ka allan da dinna instructor. That was very expensive the device was. That expensive the device was in nineties. Anu ganang. The device was very expensive. We were not allowed to touch this. Ne ka abit allan da dinna. कीबोर्ड इंस्ट्रक्टर and the it which we knew we studied for our first degree is expired by now the technology what we studied is expired by now now people are talking of machine learning this is a new era this is where the jobs are generated this is the entrepreneurs entrepreneurship is required so you have you have embarked on a really productive journey and the scope of this journey i don't know i think uh, mr nishi i would call him nishi usually my colleague is here is an industrial expert hmm all i know the guys who know ai the guy who the people who have learned business analytics they earn quite a lot of money in the industry if you go there if you would like to go out of the country you look at canada market you look at australia germany france italy australia new zealand to see the demand for such people on daily basis and look at the salaries look at the salaries so i don't have to tell you the potential you know the potential of this mega dan no Because then again, I will like be it. Once you learn this, you are in business. I don't see anyone who knows AI or business analytics or uh, artificial intelligence. They are unemployed. They are not unemployed. As I know, anyone who knows AI and all these these programs that you are involved today, there are three different programs. the earnings are more than half a million rupees in sri lankan outside the country patting eliye mat ate athude loku padiya ke other software companies hunt kar ya danna misun ek api kalo chita kile daragena we knew this is the right time and sri lanka foundation and especially i must thank nishi because he has uh, added uh, all the ingredients required in this program so that uh, students can go and excel themselves anywhere in the world nishi and his team he has an expert team industrial experts we know i can see we know those are here i i saw we know those there huh? so they are real experts they are not just fancy people they are not just lecturers huh? so you have a panel an international panel why are you calling international mokoda egolo me me mirate weda karna hai ne me compete they will see that they work for facebook they work for uh, you know microsoft they work for oracle they work for ibm they don't work for any sri lankan company you know when they work for such institutions their salaries are in dollars and euros not in rupees so you are lucky i don't think any institution any institution who has launched such a program with such 
panel of lecturers, industrial experts, and the content. I rest assure, assure that I, I assure that there is nowhere in Sri Lanka at this cost, with this recognition, with this panel, that you can learn such a uh, such knowledge can be accumulated. May knowledge accumulate karanatana. If I am boasting, if I am trying to uh, talk too much, you can go and do a survey, web survey and find out who has this ingredients. I don't think you will find it anywhere. So my dear students, I'm not going to talk too much because I think you need to hear from the industry experts. You need to learn from them. You need to hear from them. We are here to help you. Administratively, we are here to guide you. We are here to help you. We are here to mentor and give you the confidence required and also to look after you. Because education is something that we need to teach the students how to learn. Here, we are going to teach you how to learn. That's the most important thing. Learn to learn. It's very important. That is number one. And number two, to, just, to assure that once you have learned and once you have reached to a certain standard, that we need to guide you, show you the industry. We are the industries. And those who are keen on going overseas, we have structured, uh, we have uh, discussed with many foreign universities to offer the third year, final year bachelor's degree program in any other subjects that you desire to study. That we have business analytics, or AI or AI. So don't worry, you are in good hands. And your local certification is also from a government institution backed by Lincoln University. So as Dr. Vijayaratna explained, it will have well recognition. Within the country, it is recognized. There is nothing to be recognized because people, we don't have people. <laughs> we don't have people for such. Uh, we don't have, we have very little people, very little people. So I don't think anyone is going to look at your certificate even. If you know the context, if you know the subject, they will not talk anything. So this is some completely different. Uh, it's completely different from the other subjects. First, they will ask for the certificate if you go with other subjects, subject knowledge. But with this, the moment they hear the word, okay, do you know this? Can you work with Python? That's all, finished. You are employed. How much do you want? Then later on, when you want to become a manager or a, you know, uh, executive, then they will see, oh, do you have a certificate? Ah, then you produce a certificate. So let me conclude my words in a very short briefing. I always like to quote what Abraham Lincoln, the great president of America, started from the shoemaker's son, Sapattu Mahanekkena Adhipothi, Lacey Nias in Ittakadi and America, Janadi Paduna. He has a famous saying saying that, I will prepare, my time will come. I will prepare, my time will come. Sapattu Mahanekkena Adhipothi, Api Hema, Kagibat profession neka pahat karno anime Namut Samaji Tina Mate Evakata Samaji Mate Kadasapatu Mahanwa Kyan Penama job bekak skilled job bekak Sapatu Mahanwede Abraham Lincoln Sapatu Mahanwa He went to the parliament He was a visionary person Loki Kisima Janadi Padikinami Vishavindia Loki Vati Hadilane Vela Balanda Abraham Lincoln came in Tamil Nadu with the local what he Malaysia Abraham Lincoln University cut 
ඒ වගේ Parliament is speech again, you know, in the first speech of the parliament. One Senate member stood and asked, Do you know who you are? He said he knew that. What question he was asking? He knew. He stood and said, Yes, I am aware that I am a shoemaker's son. Do you know, it has, you know, do you know that your father used to sew shoes, the shoes for us? Tata Sapattu Mahano. He do make our shoes. Yes, I am aware of that. Kindly let me know if anything is wrong or further anything can be improved. I would kindly pass on this message to him today. Karunaka Lakiande, Mahapu Sapato, Adupa, Wako, Tavam Pakari, Vadidunu Karanda Pulwanda, Mangi Tata Kian. Very politely he has answered the question. From where did this kind of personality education? Ne personality Kuenda, Taraha Gila, how the Kuwe Mata Sapatumane can I put a value as an eh? Ekata Malama have a diploma degree on Karan. Technical knowledge you can acquire from anywhere, you can apply from anywhere if you are good enough. If you are good enough. But not that discipline. That discipline would only come when you have a longer period of academic journey. So don't get distracted in these two years of journey. Make a full-time MMA. Make a Make a distract when they palm again. It's not only about the technical things that you learn. It's the discipline that you bring in. May discipline make up younger take. May good act IT IT in the Pashti Mamiki because I was also from the same background. I know that a lot of my friends they learn what they have to learn. Monohari Python, Hari Monohari Kakinagata, industry get a credit for a given job, Hari Labino. So you jump into that. Oh, what is the point of learning diploma, degree, all these things? I will just go to this job. Lama is Anna, the other Peter Attain, the good act, Lama in Tape Villa. They can't go for the PR. The companies are retaining them by giving, uh, uh, by renewing their visas. They can't go for PR. They can't apply for PR because they want diplomas and degrees for PR. The people who have gone for Middle East, IT, Middle East, Logu Padi Gan. The mayor of the anti mainland, diploma, degree, and nothing, and the care. Spite of how good you are. Imagine now. So that is what this diploma and degrees are very important. So today you have embarked in a very good journey. Like what the great Abraham Lincoln told, I will prepare, my time will come. Knowledge is skill like I pet in the This is the piece of paper. It is written for the next two third of your life. Next two third of your life. That's all. A degree is a degree. Apika kaurud gila degree panahak karanne ekai. Ara vena degree adhika karanne pulo ngasa abhi tu no. But generally it's one degree. So remember this thing. I will prepare. My time will come. Preparing is what? You prepare this, you qualify, keep the certificate aside, do the job. Once I know, job opportunities, a lucrative salary. You will get a lot of job opportunities, overseas job opportunities, paid in dollars and euros. But don't get distracted from your program. If you, the moment you get distracted from the program, you will not get the certificate, you will not get the diploma, you will not get the degree. 
therefore one day in your life you will regret a lot of my friends are there today a lot of my friends who are in good countries germany there and here and everywhere but they can't take their family they can't consolidate themselves there because they don't have the required academic qualification they will not be given any administrative post how about administrative post ka kene ne bura kaay to they will ask for academic qualifications so my dear students don't deviate only one advice i'll give for such people like you all you all are smart i know that kon la smart time it rinne after 6 months one year after learning python that this i don't know what you learn machine machine learning all these things you will get lot of opportunities again i am telling you will be paid in euros and dollars if you deviate from your course finish in vain aparadhi eka karana gamang meka karagena yanna meka ivara karan your primary target has to be to achieve the qualification while earning money mama kiyanna industry ekada ande paakila you should go to the industry we are also telling go to the industry api anivaryam tallu karala ridano gina no the problem is you need to be at your course amata karande pa qualification ek complete karan ko me it kare unta vela thiyenne dakshala ma inta qualification ek complete karan university vela themai peradeniya themai kolamba themai some of them they don't complete the qualification because they are they are really good hundare ma honda eka ivade institution come and pick them interview ekata palavin interview ke online interview ke manna not agala kolla logo padi ekut dewuna kolla balla monowa dali me subjects ne okkoma igena igena wedak kya mata a logo padi ekut tham i get a good salary i the bloody hell i do study i am getting up you know masaka salary 10 hmm? d huh? six digit salary ka kam benni mar lakshe panala that bloody hell no it's not the story oka puri kale moko the technology expire when end it aur do paha kare na hatra kena today's technology expired by tomorrow but the qualification will never get expired qualification is expired mage bsc it na mage bsc it ek expire vela ne mage technical skill ek expire vela දැන් මේ කතා කරන AI එකත් IT ඉන්ෆර්මේෂන් ටෙක්නොලොජි වල ෆ්ලේවර් එක. මම දන්නවා මේක වැදගත් තමයි AI වල. I know without AI you can't do many things to do. Lot of things AI is required, AI is demanding. මම දන්නවා මේක. නඩ මගේ උපාධිය ගන්න පුළුවන් නේ වගේ. බෑ. Can I go and get a degree now? But I can if I am 45 years old it's very, you know, <laughs> it's like just going and sitting in a O level class, O level panti, mama gila si shatta panti, ini kan nak berak. So I can't do that. So my dear students, stay at the course. Don't deviate. Get the qualification. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roshan. Uh, our next speaker is uh, Dr. Kanosha Pereira, and uh, she will be giving you an introduction to the curriculum. This is for the bioinformatics uh, diploma students. Uh, to give you a small introduction about her, she is the head of academics of the science faculty. She has done her uh, bachelor's in genetics and her master's in experimental biotechnology. and she has completed her phd in molecular biology and biochemistry so over to you dr kanuja thank you madhuni uh so good morning to all of you and i would like to welcome you all once again uh so i'll just give you a brief introduction about uh, biotech uh, bioinformatics uh yeah so i'll share just few slides So 
Right, so I hope you all can see the slide. Can you all see the slide? Yeah, yes, we can. Yes. Um, right. Okay, so uh, what is bioinformatics? Right, so that this may be new to some people, some students, but uh, for some, they may aware about this, uh, about this bioinformatics, right? So I will just give you a brief introduction about the bio, what is bioinformatics and what are the subjects uh, we are going to study under this bioinformatics, right? So bioinformatics means this will involve the collection and analysis of biological data. So, so you know informatics, right? So, uh, and now if we add bio, that word to this informatics, so definitely biology, uh, this uh, biology will be related to this informatics uh, field, right? So here, therefore, this involves the collection and the analysis of biological data, especially uh, genomic data using information technology, right? So in brief, if we can say, we can say that bioinformatics is the use of computer, to solve biological and biomedical problems, right? So in very short form, we can say IT in biotechnology, right? So I hope now that is clear to you all what is bioinformatics, okay? So uh, if you go through the syllabus, right? So you can see that this is not just a single field. Right, so it is an interdisciplinary field which has computer science, mathematics or physics, and then biology, medicine, right? So this is a combination of all these fields, right? So if we take biotechnology, uh, you will study uh, bioinformatics as a subject, but not in detail, but under bioinformatics, uh, diploma, you will study more uh, like uh, advanced uh, techniques and subject uh, knowledge about this biotechnology and its uh, related uh, other subjects, right? So during your bioinformatics course, right? So you will enhance, uh, the students will, uh, they may enhance their knowledge about this, uh, topics or these subjects, right? So here I have mentioned only few subjects, right? So you have many more to study under this bioinformatics uh, diploma, right? So the first, very first thing is computer applications, right? So definitely uh, you need to know about various database methods used to study in these biological systems. Right? And also different uh, methods and then software tools uh, to understand this biological data, right? So this is more related to computer uh, applications, right? So, and then uh, anyone from like scientist or molecular biologist or biological scientist, anyone, even bioinformatic uh, scientist, right? So if they, uh, have internet and then if they know the subject, if they know the relevant website that they can use, so they can now freely discover the composition of biological molecules, right? Like uh, nucleic acids, DNA, RNA, and then proteins by using basic bioinformatic tools, right? So if you know the websites, if you know how to handle them, and if you have the IT knowledge and the biological knowledge, so definitely you can do this bioinformatics. There's no doubt in that, right? And then if you take molecular biology, so molecular biology means that is the field of biology that studies the composition, then structure and the interaction of cellular molecule, right? So we are studying in their molecular level, studying things at their molecular level, right? So even that is about uh, nucleic acids such as DNA, RNA, and also proteins, 
right? Because if we anti molecular biology, we will study different molecular biology techniques, right? So, so because uh, to like we will study how to extract DNA and then, and then uh, DNA sequencing and then how to read the DNA sequences. So we know there are only four base pairs, adenine, thymine, guanine, sargicine in DNA, right? So these four base pairs will change each of us, right? So we are different from each other. And if we compare humans with other species again, but there are only four base pairs, right? So by reading this human genome or any other genome, and so we can compare different DNA sequences within the species as well as uh, uh, between different uh, species, right? So therefore, you need to know how to uh, see how to identify, how to extract the DNA first, and then to how to do sequencing and then how to enter those data into the size. And if you have these DNA sequences, how to compare with each uh, like different species. So you need to know all these, right? And especially, so nowadays you will heard now, uh, earlier this uh, COVID-19 uh, was alpha and then beta and now delta, right? So different variations are there, right? So how we will find, how they, these scientists, they will find this because they will do their RNA sequencing and then they will compare where the mutations takes place, right? So then by identifying those mutations, they will, um, they will uh, create different strains. They will name them with different uh, names and then they will uh, inform to the public uh, and we have different varieties like that they will give. So all these done by this molecular biology techniques combination with the bioinformatics, right? And then the other field is transcriptomics. So this means the study of complete RNA transcriptomics, right? So that is reading the uh, genomic RNAs, right? So by uh, this will allow for the characterization and then qualification of uh, quantification of uh, gene expressions across different cells, tissues, and also we can use these for the treatments, uh, different treatments, right? So we can compare these gene sequences in expressions between same species or between different species, right? So all these comparisons, everything is done by using softwares, different softwares on the bioinformatics. And then you have proteomics. So proteomics is the study of proteins and their functions, right? So uh, if we take a protein, so proteins, proteins means uh, they are uh, genes will responsible for different proteins, right? So genes means a DNA sequence, right? So everything is present in the DNA. So specific sequence will responsible for the production of specific protein. Uh, specific protein. So we by studying these proteins, uh, we can uh, by studying these proteins, we can identify different changes in the proteins at the protein level, right? And then the next next uh, subject is the cell biology and genetics, right? So uh, cell means that is the basic structural and functional unit of all living system, right? So that means all living things, they are made up of cells, right? So in order to develop new biotechnologies, it is important to understand more about cells, right? So under this, you will study about different cell types, especially uh, main category for prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cells. So under that, again, there are subcategories. So you will study all these under cell biology, right? So it is very much important to study this cell biology. So that's the basic of the biology, right? And then if you take genetics, so genes, right? So genes, um, genes, they are inherited we are getting genes from our parents, right? So that means genes are inherited from one generation to next generation, 
So genes will store all the information uh, that is required in a, uh, to continue the life, right? So therefore, if there's so if uh, we are studying genetics under uh, bioinformatics uh, syllabus, right? So by studying them, then we can analyze uh, how these genes passing from one generation to another. So if there's a mutation, how it goes to the next generation. So what are the possibilities, right? So if, as an example, if some somebody is having, uh, uh, having, uh, let's say, uh, hemophilia, right? So if we can, if we know, if we can draw the pedigree of this uh, hemophilia, so then we can identify how it will pass to their next generation. So if, if father or mother is having this condition, so by analyzing their pedigree charts, they can, they can see if they are having a baby, what are the possibilities? What are the chance, chances of getting this hemophilia to their children, right? So like not on hemophilia, for most of the genetic disorders, we can identify by using, by analyzing their genetic makeup, right? So for like, for all these sequences, we can find it uh, under different bioinformatics websites tools, right? So therefore, uh, this genetics also directly connect to this bioinformatics model, right? And then infectious disease. So it is, um, so we know infectious diseases are disorders caused by many organisms that can be either bacteria, viruses, fungi, then parasites, right? So by using bioinformatics tools, right? So we can use to uh, use these tools in the identification and the characterization and also typing of all kinds of pathology, right? So if you, uh, if you go and type, we'll say, we'll say, uh, take one website in CBI. If you go there and type, the uh, DNA sequence of, uh, we'll say, uh, DNA sequence of E. coli, right? So if you type it, you will get the entire sequence of E. coli strains, right? So like that, so if we identify a specific microorganism, right? So we will see that uh, there's an unknown microorganism in our blood. Right, so we will isolate that microorganism and then we will extract the DNA and then we will uh, sequence, the, uh, we will sequence uh, the genome and then we can compare that with different strains of the microorganisms, right? So we have one set of uh, genome. So by entering, by uh, using that DNA sequence, we can compare with different strains. Right. So if it's so if you if you didn't find anything that is related to your DNA sequence, that means it's a new uh, it's a new microorganism, right? So if you see some relations to different uh, species, so that you can build up a relationship between. So you can uh, conclude that there can be some connection between these species, right? So like that, we can uh, broadly describe about different uh, uh, about different organisms that can uh, cause different diseases right and then uh, also we can uh, uh, the applications of this bioinformatics can use to uh, pathogenic identification detection of this uh, virulent factors then resistome analysis and also strain typing, etc. So we can use that for many applications. So you, or you will study all these under this infectious diseases and the bioinformatics module, right? And then also there's another important uh, field that is the immunology, right? So immunology, it provides key information about basic mechanisms in the number of related diseases. Right? So it is also represent the most critical target for medical intervention. So this is mainly we can relate that to med medical field. Right? So by com combining bioinformatics and immunology, we can improve human health 
through better patient specific diagnostics and also optimize immune treatments. Right? So these are few areas that uh, uh, I have described here, but you have many more very good uh, subject uh, uh, subjects uh, that is included into bioinformatics. Really interesting, right? So once you enter to this, right? So definitely you will not feel bored because uh, each subject uh, has a very specific, um, very specific uh, important things that you can learn, new things uh, you can learn under these modules, right? So therefore, uh, I think, I hope, uh, you all enjoy rather than studying, you all enjoying doing this bioinformatics module. And also, uh, after, while you are studying, you will feel, you will get to know that how we can relate these bioinformatics uh, subjects, the knowledge that you gain to different uh, career pathways. Right? So, therefore, uh, I hope you all join with us on uh, 5th of uh, September for this bioinformatics program. So further, if you need any help or any, any subject knowledge or any information, you can contact our lecture panel or uh, anyone uh, that is related to this uh, program and you can get more information, right? So I hope it's clear now because I am not going to talk in detail about this subject because you need to get into this to uh, start to uh, familiar with these terminologies and the methods, right? So sometimes you may feel like Greek, that, but definitely once you start this program, definitely it will, you, uh, it will be a very interesting field, right? So thank you very much to all of you and I hope to see you all on uh, fifth Sunday uh, to this bioinformatics program. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tanusha. Uh, now we have uh, Mr. Nishendran Balachandran, who is a senior lecturer and he's also the founder and CEO of Nishche. And uh, he's an industrial and research and development expert. And he will brief you on the career opportunities that, uh, you, uh, that will be available after you complete your HND program. So over to you, Mr. Nishi. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you, Ms. Madhuni. Uh, so I would, uh, on behalf of uh, uh, SLFI, and uh, thank you for the opportunity, and as well as uh, O2AI, uh, Director of uh, Operation, Mr. Vinod. Uh, so I'm presenting a career opportunities video. So uh, uh, before that, uh, we need to go through the uh, academic uh, modules as well. So I'll complete that uh, end of this uh, presentation. So before we start the opportunity, uh, so let's, uh, yeah. So before we start about the opportunities, uh, so let's, uh, before I, my, uh, before starting my presentation, I would like to show you the basics, uh, uh, familiar things. I mean, you might have uh, seen these. Uh, so one uh, here is uh, uh, Google, dot com right the google uh, search engine uh, you might uh, have the experience uh, on uh, by once you start typing uh, first uh, first or second word uh, itself uh, even before you complete applications or whatever you are going to search uh, google will uh, automatically uh, show you uh, suggestions right based on your queries and based on your keywords right so this is one uh, thing uh, if you remember uh, at the same time, there are AI related uh, uh, health sector and medical uh, related, bioinformatics uh, related uh, um, diagnostics methods. I mean, there are plenty of it. 
uh, but it is one of the examples, right? One of the millions of examples uh, where uh, usual uh, cancer diagnostics, right? So a pathophysiologist has to uh, manually uh, take the tissue sample, uh, observe under microscope uh, for a longer time, and they confirm uh, based on the uh, uh, observation, whether it's a uh, cancer or tumor cells, right? Uh, now that has been automated uh, to, I mean, automated up to a certain level, uh, where uh, this AI system that will uh, suggest a pathophysiologist, the images will be rendered, uh, studied, and uh, it's called the AI vision, right? It's an image processing technique. And uh, these image processing techniques will uh, screen through the cancer and uh, non-cancerous uh, tumors and the normal cells, right? And that gives uh, suggestions, automated suggestions for a pathophysiologist where he can make uh, better predictions. Uh, so this will be much uh, helpful in um, uh, diagnosis. Uh, but it is not only this example. There are many uh, uh, cardio uh, or pulmonary or any other medical field, right? Uh, in terms of visions or in terms of vision in the sense uh, uh, audio, video, image processing analysis and a lot at the same time so this is a health example of a healthcare it's a general example and then uh, you might be um, uh, getting a basic example on uh, a self-driven car and uh, tesla uh, by tesla right uh, so he's a uh, elon musk uh, um, before his uh, uh, self-driven car uh, based on ai and it uh, comprises on a map google um, so ai map uh, driving algorithms, patterns, and a lot. And uh, some of your students, um, those who are uh, on financial and business sector, uh, you might see that um, stock market predictions, right? Uh, so prediction will give you whether to sell or buy based on a lot of, uh, lot of uh, previous um, data and algorithms and market uh, splits, rights issues, and a lot of uh, financial uh, decisions, right? Uh, based on um, buying and selling, right? So either the algorithm can predict, uh, predict uh, whether that's a beer or bull, right? So which is a uh, two important uh, keywords for buying and selling uh, shares, right? Uh, not only that, uh, but there are many aspects, right? Uh, whether you have uh, any algorithm, or like for example, Fibonacci, uh, you can use, I mean, automate, uh, these uh, predictions. So this is a financial and uh, business uh, example, right? Uh, even whether it's a share or a cryptocurrency or a, uh, a current general currency exchange, uh, Forex, or any equity market uh, shares or any um, uh, business uh, infrastructure analysis, right? So it's a overall, we call it a business intelligence and analytics. And uh, Everyone knows uh, Google AI, uh, which is not only Google, is not only a Google search engine, uh, it has many other uh, platforms, like whether you take uh, Android or a Google map or a lot of other things. And uh, Facebook AI research, on the other hand, uh, if you just search on Google browser or a Facebook, automatically it will give you uh, uh, suggestions on uh, based on your queries, right? As soon as you type something, automatically Facebook takes those uh, keywords and uh, it will automatically show you uh, advertisements, right? Based on um, based on whatever the key keywords you have used, right? And uh, in Instagram, Instagram, in, uh, uh, Facebook, and Facebook Messenger, right? Uh, even um, still, there is a privacy concern going on with uh, WhatsApp, right? Which we don't know, uh, but that's a lot of uh, data harvesting, right? Uh, so every every business. Uh, uh, these days, uh, they are on the edge of uh, data-driven uh, technology and data-driven uh, decisions, right? Uh, whether you take uh, engineering uh, or robotics or medicine, healthcare, biotechnology or business, finance or any other business, IT, right? So one of the other example is uh, Internet of Things. Uh, it's a future of uh, few. I mean, uh, currently we have this, right? Um, uh, at a basic level, right? Uh, Internet of Things is uh, you can come uh, control control over equipment, right? Uh, 
uh, all these uh, movies or films uh, you can see this right automatically imagine you have an ap application on your mobile uh, through the mobile you can check your car refrigerator watch is which is already there uh, computer or cctv cameras or your cooking or, or kitchen appliances or tv or a, a hand wash or any digitalization so cards even um, we have vaccine cards in um, place in sri lanka right so there are millions of things we can name uh, and uh, we can continue so we uh, we call it as internet of things uh, which means uh, ai powered at the same time you can control your equipment or devices uh, so currently uh, one such example is uh, even if you lose your mobile phone uh, through another device or maybe uh, your laptop you can find your location of the device or maybe you can lock the device so it's very simple example right so what are we talking about it's a very large uh, area right uh, area on uh, computing and uh, ai mathematics algorithms machine learning and lot of things right so in these things um, let's uh, uh, she see the market shares right uh, so this industries right these industries that uh, supports right so if you see the um, uh, cagr so cagr this stands for a compound annual growth rate Right, it's a rate uh, of return that would be required for an investment to grow from its beginning balance to its ending balance, uh, which means uh, just to uh, one tool to identify a market. Right, so it's done by a verified market research, and for global artificial intelligence market for 2020 to 2027. Right, so it's like around uh, eight years. Right, but uh, if you see the differences, uh, 38.9 billion in 2019 to expected uh, growth uh, at 429.2 billion, right? Why this uh, huge uh, growth, right? If you compare the uh, other sector market, uh, other sectors, uh, whether automotive aviation, or oil and gas, transportation, power generation, manufacturing, healthcare, education, retail, and others, right? Every other sectors, uh, including industry, agriculture, and everything, right? Uh, when you compare everything, this is the highest, uh, CHER um, annual growth, I mean, compound annual growth rate, right? Why? Because AI, right? These, because of this uh, influence, right? Uh, influence of IoT, influence of AI, influence on business and intelligence, influence on computational analysis, right? So because of this influ influence, uh, the AI market, right? Have a highly uh, increased uh, CHER, right? In future. Right. So if you choose a career, right, uh, you should uh, choose. I mean, uh, if you want to choose, if you are get, getting ready for future, uh, you should choose one of the key uh, sectors, right, which is AI or business intelligence or uh, bioinformatics, right. So when you roughly compare, right, because any other industries uh, doesn't grow this much in future. So coming back to my presentation right so carry opportunities on artificial intelligence business intelligence analytics and uh, bioinformatics so uh, the program uh, so there are uh, already you have got enough information on uh, uh, sri lanka foundation they are initiated in um, this program uh, with the private uh, partnerships so uh, on behalf of that uh, oxygen ai or to ai uh, they are going to deliver the structure right so on behalf of them uh, i'm going to deliver this presentation Right. So what is uh, AI, right? Uh, before we do all of these uh, fancy development things, right? Uh, what do we need to learn, right? Uh, what is the minimum requirements, right? Uh, in these uh, factors, right? Before you start entering your career, right? So artificial intelligence, when we say artificial intelligence, it's a collection of uh, several analysis, several learnings, right? So one of that is, uh, let's say I'll start with speech. Uh, so machine learning, speech, or vision, or natural language uh, processing, or expert system, or planning uh, robotics, right? So let's say I'll start with uh, uh, NLP, right? Uh, language processing, right? Natural language processing. So what does it do? It takes all these, uh, let's say, for example, you are typing anything. So it takes uh, all the key keywords. And uh, there is uh, uh, algorithms right on uh, classification, translation, data extraction. So they process and they analyze 
right? Okay, so it's a huge data, right? So AI deals with a big data analytics. So which means it, it is going to process a huge data. So it is more of a text user analysis, right? At the same time, uh, speech analysis, right? Uh, it's similar to text user, but uh, you need uh, audio uh, recordings, right? So for example, right, for example, uh, if you mute your Zoom uh, mic right now and start talking, automatically uh, you will get a uh, system uh, information that uh, your mic is uh, mic is uh, mute and would you like to enable? I mean, you, you would you like to unmute yourself, right? So that's uh, one example, right? How this AI is influencing us, right? So if you want to do a demonstration also, you can try to talk in the, uh, on behalf on the, in front of your uh, speak. So why? Because the mic is always listening to it, right? It uh, recognizes your uh, speech, right? And it uh, filters off your other noises, like whether there is a bus is moving or car or vehicle or a kitchen appliances or a fan or an AC, right? It filters all these uh, audio uh, recordings, right? But it recognizes you speak, right? Whether whatever the language you speak, right? It recognizes and automatically it translates as a text form. And text form analysis are natural language uh, processing, right? Similar to text and audio, right? There are a lot of images, image recognition, right? Image uh, machine vision. So these are the uh, image processing analysis, right? Whether you want to predict uh, any um, CCTV. Uh, footage also automatically you can predict any stuff or whether you want to do a cancer research or uh, any other research on medical or maybe if you want to uh, try on a uh, automated self-driving uh, car right whether to detect the tracks uh, detect uh, whether there are people are moving whether whether that's a car or vehicle or a person right so in robotics it's very important right image recognition uh, we call it uh, vision so all of these right uh, are based on a machine learning. So these are the mathematics and statistics algorithm, right? Uh, it's a com combination of that. Uh, so there are machine learning and deep learning. So based on predictive analysis and deep learning, they produce this algorithm, they analyze, and they give you a prediction results, right? So the results can be reported or visualized based on a, a analysis or, a may, may, or maybe it can be uh, used to determine or a particular question decision, right? Whether to turn here or not to turn here in self-driving car, or maybe a diagnostics, a medical diagnostic, whether it's a tumor or non-tumor, or whether you have CCTV, whether you want to predict whether there is a trespassers or it's an automated uh, employer, right? So these days uh, everywhere, in every business industries, they have a face recognition uh, camera signing. I mean, they won't sign, Right. Instead of that, uh, the face is recognized. Right. Even uh, if you're using mobile phones, uh, most of these uh, mobile phones are comes with a, a face recognition to unlock your mobile phones. Right. So it's similar to that. So everything is a image process analysis. Okay. So how does that image? Right. I mean, the, how does the system recognize you versus your friends? Right. So these are image processing analysis versus uh, machine learning, and there are other programs. Right. Other basic programming, uh, database developments, and several other stuffs you need to study on this. So this is the collectively, we say artificial intelligence, right? But the application can be implemented in any sector, right? Every sector in this world, right? You can implement this, right? For better yield, better time uh, reductions, and process flows, and more productions. Right. So when you say uh, scope of artificial intelligence, right? So it's artificial intelligence, but uh, it comprises on uh, three programs. What we are dealing with: the uh, HND in AI, HND in uh, business intelligence, or whether it's a bioinformatics, right? You can apply artificial intelligence. So that's the beauty of this. Okay. So here there are image analysis, virtual uh, personal assistant, or a machine learning, or IoT, or visualization, or a deep learning, or audio analysis or so robotics and soft robotics or so the difference between the real robotics and soft robotics are like, for example, if you use a, a tool, right? A machine for a, a cleaning or sweeping uh, houses, uh, there are robots 
or maybe a example of uh, Mavic um, uh, drones, right? So there are different kind of robots, right? It's a complete robot or a partial, a particular uh, robot for a particular function, right? And uh, simulation modeling, right? Uh, very important in uh, health and medical and finance and AI engineering, uh, then graph analytics and natural language uh, processing, a uh, lot of information. So let's see some applications of this, right? In uh, business intelligence, right? So we call it uh, NPL or BI as a service or a, a self-employment or a data governance, right? Or prescriptive analysis or a collaborative and integrative uh, BI. So every business industry, they want to earn more profit. And before they earn the profit, they want to make a proper right decisions. And the right decisions cannot be made without proper data, right? So business intelligence supports, right? Collecting or mining the data, they harvest the data, they process it, and they produce a visual analysis for visual uh, graphs for a directors or managing directors or a board of uh, board members of the company to make their right uh, decision, right? So for example, these are, these are very fraction of examples, right? 0.1 percentage of examples, right? Uh, business intelligence and I mean, business intelligence, when I say uh, business analytics or AI, right? So everything, I mean, you can't uh, differentiate AI and business analytics or business intelligence, right? Uh, so for example, these are very fraction of, I mean, like 0 0.0001 percentage of examples, right? How to make uh, decision, right? Whether it's uh, COVID uh, situations or uh, stock Asian uh, stock markets or a prediction analysis or a equity analysis or a uh, population density or a vaccination graph or a business uh, uh, site traffic, sorry, business site traffic, right? Based on uh, what are the browsers, what are the uh, uh, applications that users, what are the, whether it's uh, computers or tablets or mobile phones accessing and what kind of operating systems are on board, uh, what kind of mobile operating systems are on board, whether it is iPhone or Android or Blackberry. Right. And what time uh, they surf the websites, what time they come to the online portal, uh, how much they buy and each day, they, how much they are going to uh, purchase and which time is more convenient and the per those who purchase, right, what do they buy, right, what is their age, what's their items and whether they can show a particular advertisements for a particular person, right. So they, based on this data, right, it's not a... Uh, single one advertisement fix for everyone right so it's not anymore right it's not newspapers that carries a single advertisement for every audience who read the newspaper right so the advertisements also they are targeted right so we call it a, a predicted or personalized advertisements right every user who uses systems right computer or mobile they browse whether you are searching Facebook or Google or any advertisements, you have been targeted, right? Based on your keywords, based on your age, based on your gender, based on every other data they can collect based on you, you have been targeted the advertisements, right? So two persons will get two different advertisements based on the data, right? So it's very, it's a, it's a huge opportunity, right? Uh, shown in a very simple graph, right? Even for the equity market in Sri Lanka, right? It's uh, exact Sri Lankan shares uh, last week, right? How they are going to move, right? So the two presentation predicted here, Asian versus global stocks, uh, whether it's going to predict uh, moving higher or moving low, right? Or maybe the a particular stock, whether they are going to increase or fall and increase, right? So as per the prediction, if you see last three days of the um, share market's growth, it's continuously growing, right? So Right, whether it's uh, fake or manipulated, the prediction, right, the algorithm found it correct, right? So all these three graphs are from uh, Sri Lankan uh, stock and equity market uh, analyzed last week, right? So these are very important things when you make decisions. So with decisions that driven by data analysis. Okay, coming back to uh, bioinformatics. So I think uh, Dr. Tanusha already informed a lot. So I'll just give you a very brief uh, on uh, bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is a lot of uh, molecular interactions, 
on uh, DNA chips uh, data or prediction of structure or a function of a protein, or uh, sequence analysis or a genetic variations analysis on uh, genetic disorders, right? Or maybe a search for a new drug. So we call it uh, bio, uh, biomedical drug discovery, right? So there are a lot of uh, the huge, uh, what I mean, the range of bioinformatics also uh, that bioinformatics needs the AI support as well, okay? Uh, because there is no uh, bioinformatics in future without AI and computation, right? So one such uh, examples are like, for example, how the uh, how we, right? Uh, in uh, I work for Nishi and we work for AI and statistical methods. Uh, so on for uh, bioinformatics, on uh, chemi informatics, uh, drug designing or a molecular docking or a bioinformatics pathways, right? How we uh, design new drugs, how we predict the structure and the functions of a uh, uh, particular sequence and the sequence how he, that can be uh, manipulated, expected, or if there is a, how we can predict the interactions between other existing components and how this works, right? So these are known as uh, molecular docking dynamics or uh, ligand-based approaches on pre-docking and uh, post-docking screening. Uh, so this, uh, this will reduce a lot of, uh, wastage, right, on uh, wet, lab, uh, uh, wet lab analysis. Why? Why? Because uh, 20, 30 years ago, uh, one drug is, uh, without analyzing a drug, uh, we have to run a lot of uh, clinical trials, right, on animal-based trials and uh, in vitro, in vivo studies, right. So now, based on bioinformatics analysis, you, we don't have to waste time on a lot of analysis. We can uh, computationally design and predict the structure and we can exclude the non-binding structures by computational analysis and target only the particular structure. So one uh, such example, right, was uh, last year's uh, 2019 uh, November, we had the uh, COVID-19, the disease, right, the, the causage, positive agent was uh, sars coronavirus 2 uh, immediately after uh, COVID-19, that uh, was become a pandemic, right? By January, February, the DNA of uh, mRNA, sorry, not DNA, mRNA, because mRNA virus. So mRNA of uh, uh, genome, I mean, the mRNA of the SARS coronavirus 2, immediately uh, sequenced, right, uh, many times, and that uh, gives the support of uh, individual analysis and the structure and function prediction of each and every part of uh, SARS coronavirus 2 gene. Uh, so that has been analyzed as whether this is a very close to a uh, closer relative, a uh, relative of SARS 1, uh, which was previously we have experienced, and it's uh, another relate, uh, relative of uh, MERS, uh, which happened before also. So these prediction analysis and uh, helped uh, all the scientists to. Uh, find out whether the spike protein is binding with ACE2 receptor of human. So this is the binding structure and how this can be uh, overcome by vaccine production and even the vaccine production also computationally designed by BioNTech uh, Germany, right? Even before they sold it to Pfizer and they have been called and production uh, uh, cloned, uh, then the, the production was started with uh, Pfizer. Okay, so this is uh, one such example, how the uh, data and tools and analytics uh, helps uh, industry and helps the world uh, uh, overcome the pandemic within, uh, I think, uh, 2019. Uh, so the, when we say officially the pandemic started in 2020, so by 2023 or 24, right? So it is a very short period of time, right? Uh, three or four years. Uh, to overcome a pandemic, right? Compared to the previous pandemics, whatever we have experienced uh, 100 years or 200 years or 500 years or last 2000 years, right? Which uh, usually pandemics takes seven to 12, 14 years, even to just to uh, overcome, right? So this is one advantage of um, uh, computational analysis. Okay, so let's uh, see uh, industries or business uh, depending on artificial intelligence. Right, so it's a very uh, brief uh, um, explanatory uh, image. Uh, we'll go for an advanced one later. But before we go to the advanced analysis, uh, uh, just a brief one. AI, right? So AI is, means it's a common for uh, 
uh, bioinformatics or business intelligence or uh, artificial intelligence program. Uh, they have entertainment, yes, uh, uh, real estate, retail, uh, e-commerce, travel, banking, financial services, manufacturing, food tech, healthcare, medical or logistics and transportation, right? So if you see a large picture of this, right? Uh, whether you start from aerospace, right? Let's say banking and uh, personal finance, transport, retail spaces, education, communication, gaming, right? So designing, manufacturing, playing, analysis, everything. Uh, even uh, journalism, media or hospitality, uh, medicals a lot. Uh, in even uh, research, uh, entertainment, workplace, mobile uh, developments, or sports. Uh, one of the importance uh, in sports analytics, uh, so play analytics, which is one of the important, right, uh, of uh, importance of AI, right? Now, AI has been used for even football matches, cricket matches, or every other sports to measure the sportsmen, right, how they are traveling, how, uh, how much they have to be uh, utilized. So the decisions right, are analyzed with AI. And aerospace or healthcare, online shopping, agriculture, real estate, social networks, uh, so whatever we use, uh, social networks, um, uh, defense, right, even cybersecurity or smart homes, right, so they need the support of um, uh, AI, uh, insurance events or business analytics or politics and government, right, so these days, even the political campaigns, right, so if you get the recent news on uh, Indian political campaigning or uh, US political campaigning or even last year's one or even Sri Lanka's political campaigning, right, needs a lot of analysis uh, and a lot of uh, AI driven technology, right, so whether whether it's, it doesn't matter, right, it's irrelevant uh, to the industry, artificial intelligence is not a separate uh, scope or industry, right, it's a combination of all these information, so these are tools and whatever you learn, right, uh, you can deviate and graduate, I mean, once you graduate your HND and bachelor's degree, right, you can work in any sector, because every center, every sector, they need AI, uh, specialist, right? Uh, so AI specialist is not a single job, right? So we'll come back to why, uh, what are the classifications of these jobs as well, right? So uh, career opportunities in AI, uh, business intelligence and analytics, right? So let's say job profiles. So it's not a single person who is uh, doing working behind all these um, uh, uh, work, right? Uh, so for example, in a company, right? So for example, let's say uh, we take a uh, the media, right, or communication or education, but one single industry, right, and in that industry, right, so education, there can be many schools, institutions, universities, uh, enter hospitals means there are state hospitals, private hospitals, sports means every other sports, right, even individual clubs, right, uh, aerospace means each and every aerospace institutes, uh, healthcare and research means every single research care, right, including but uh, I work, right? They need, uh, we need uh, support of big data and artificial intelligence. So for example, right? So in our company, right? One single, one, one single company, they need a scientist, I mean, an AI scientist, a big data engineer, a BI developer, data scientist or data engineer or machine learning engineer or a product manager, AI research scientist. So these are the senior level jobs in a company. Right. So in addition to that, there are every single job opportunity they need, a, uh, for example, database engineer, uh, they need a data uh, database uh, associate or an intern or a junior data engineer. There are data uh, scientists, they need a data uh, scientist or junior data scientist or an intern or even machine learning engineer, they need several other job opportunities. So it's a group of uh, or a for example, a department, right? So we work for bioinformatics, but at the same time, even uh, in the bioinformatics, we need a, a group of uh, people who work for this, right? And every other sector, I mean, every other person is important for uh, individual groups, I mean, uh, uh, companies, uh, AI development, right? So it's a, when you talk about uh, uh, sectors, I mean, opportunities, every other sectors, you might have to multiply right, each company, and you have to multiply by around 10 or 15 vacancies, right, so that is huge, right, than any other single business or industry, right, 
So let's see the similar to AI, right? Uh, business intelligence and business analytics, they need a business intelligence analysis. It's very similar to uh, AI, business intelligence developer, master data services or financial and business intelligence project manager, project intelligence manager or uh, business intelligence administrator. So these are a lot of other jobs uh, that has can be created by BI. Similar to that uh, in uh, even uh, bioinformatics, right? Bioinformatics also need uh, uh, needs uh, managing big data managers or collaborating and communication manager or problem solvers, solvers or the evaluator or QA and developing uh, diagnostic tools and uh, computing, right? So a lot of analysts, right, uh, on this. So it's uh, uh, every uh, healthcare, medical uh, technology, uh, research centers, universities, they need this kind of an entrepreneurs at the same time. Uh, individual job vacancies. So these are uh, huge uh, in demand. Okay. So uh, let me, uh, yeah. So let me, I mean, with this, uh, let me complete the uh, uh, academic uh, plan as well. Right. Okay. So presenting you the uh, academic plan on behalf of uh, Sri Lanka Foundation and Lincoln University College Sri Lanka and O2AI. Uh, so there are three programs. Uh, they are covering a high national diploma in artificial intelligence, business intelligence, and bioinformatics. Uh, so in this, uh, there are artificial intelligence. They have a co uh, module. So the modules have a co modules or a minor modules, and sorry, which is a major co major modules and minor modules and electives right and based on uh, which is very uh, similar to ai and business intelligence uh, similar to uh, they have a uh, computer science basics mathematics and english uh, data sciences statistics uh, data visualization uh, text analytics and natural language processing uh, as well as data mining big data programming and uh, english again uh, advanced databases data warehousing and uh, cloud computing, advanced programming in other sector developments. And uh, you will have a fourth uh, semester, uh, which is a core modules for machine learning, deep learning, and AI and project management. So you can have a electives on business analytics or engineering or IoT or uh, bioinformatics. And uh, you have to complete the capstone projects and internships, Okay, which is uh, more or less similar to business intelligence, the same modules. Uh, we are financial and uh, additional elective modules on uh, business entrepreneurship and business analytics and uh, 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 finance. Okay, and uh, they have the same uh, capstone projects and uh, internship as well uh, in the program, uh, which is uh, bioinformatics. It's slightly different. Uh, they have more similar programs uh, with AI. At the same time, uh, biotechnology and bioinformatics. Uh, they have a similar some of the modules from. Uh, life sciences, we are cell biology, genetics, or so biochemistry, and uh, uh, molecular biology, and uh, genetic engineering, and molecular docking, and transcriptomic analysis, and whole genome, and whole transcriptome, and whole exome, and metagenomic analysis. So they have uh, additional modules here, and additional electives for precision oncology or precision medicine, uh, infectious diseases, where they can choose to uh, 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 one of the projects for uh, final year projects, and they have to complete the capstone projects and in the internships for this. Okay, so all the programs are, uh, have uh, assessment methods or so multiple assessment methods are there. There are quizzes, presentations, uh, uh, laboratory practicals, uh, in silico virtual practicals, uh, and the program uh, module modes, uh, essays, writing skills, and uh, presentations that will uh, encourage. A person's uh, personal development as well. Uh, so each unit of the uh, module will be assessed uh, individually with a variety of assessment mode, and the uh, unit may be assessed uh, by uh, more than one method. So you, you every module have a major and minor uh, components. Okay, and uh, passing uh, all the modules and all all the uh, assessment methods uh, is mandatory to complete the modules. Uh, yeah. So then. Uh, so those who have uh, completing the projects uh, at the fourth semesters, uh, we take uh, most of the students. So, so the very competing uh, students, our internship is at the collaborative partners. So 
they share, they, they have uh, it, um, translational bioinformatics researchers with the partners uh, with uh, BioNBio uh, USA. Uh, so we have, depending on AI projects or business intelligence projects or uh, bioinformatics analysis, we give a, a complete internship projects uh, inside our faculty for whoever the students, uh, they take part in. Okay, so I think, uh, thank you so much for giving me the time to explain this. So I hope I have explained it at least a bit. Right. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Nishi, uh, for that uh, introduction. And uh, now we will open the forum to any questions uh, that the students will have. So if you have any questions, you can type them on the chat box. Uh, so we'll give a few minutes for that. So it looks like there's uh, no questions, but if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, once again, I would like to thank uh, the speakers um, for attending today's meeting. And uh, this includes Dr. Vijay Ratna, Mr. Roshan, Dr. Thanusha, and also Mr. Nishi. And thank you to the organizers, uh, including Mr. Uday. Uh, there are some questions in the chat box. Okay, we will uh, reply to these individually. So uh, thank you everyone for attending today's program and uh, all the best to you and hope to see you on the 5th of September. Thank you very much. Ms. Madhuni, uh, can I interrupt yes. you? Yeah. Sure. So give a brief answers to two questions, uh, uh, Mr. Umesh and uh, Mr. Anuradha. Yeah. Uh, so there was a two questions on are we having the internships after two years or within the two years? Uh, it depends on um, once you complete the first four trimesters of the program, uh, you have to do the internships. So internships, uh, you have to complete the first four trimesters. So that is uh, within 16 months you have to complete. But even if you cannot complete or if there is a pending modules, you can uh, take the internships to the uh, next year, uh, I mean, next uh, academic year. So it won't be an issue. Uh, I studied content, but no Python. Uh, so uh, from uh, Anurad, I think. Uh, so uh, Python is a uh, one example of a uh, program solution. Uh, so that is used in uh, audio, I mean, uh, uh, natural language processing or whether it's a uh, text uh, analytics or a uh, uh, image processing. So we use uh, several tools, right? Not only Python, uh, Python, it's uh, packages, TensorFlow, uh, Keras, and a lot, right? So we don't have to, uh, I, I think uh, I have left it um, empty because uh, in one slide, you can't uh, mention each and every uh, uh, tools which we are going to uh, face it, right? So maybe uh, in next, maybe one class, I can show you, right? So Python is, incorporated in every single module. I mean, in the computational programming or uh, data analytics or uh, not only Python, Python, uh, R and a uh, lot more, right? So hope uh, that uh, gives you a bit uh, easy answer. Uh, Mr. Ajit on courses on weekdays, weekends, I think uh, Mr. Uday and uh, the coordinator will uh, send the timetables. Uh, the programs are on work. I mean, the, since some of the students are working, uh, the programs are uh, have, um, conducted in weekdays as well. Right, so the proper clear answer will be given by uh, Mr. Odeya later on. Um, uh, yeah, so if you have, uh, Mr. Jan uh, says, uh, I'm employed, how can I complete my internship uh, in my telecommunication industries? Yes, 
uh, we will give you a uh, letter i think uh, i think uh, on behalf of auto ai uh, i'm giving an answer uh, we know uh, if you are if i'm correct uh, just uh, say uh, so if you are work already working and if you need to uh, take your internships in your company uh, that is possible uh, we will give you the letter for your internships um, uh, from your company uh, but the thing is uh, you need to perform the particular duties right uh, apart from your current uh, duties and responsibilities the module internship module will have a particular criteria on what ai methods or bi methods you are going to perform in your company during your internship so that is um, uh, necessary uh, can i get overseas internships uh, at the moment, uh, we have projects overseas as well. Uh, so we'll hope for overseas internships. I mean, we can't promise right now, but uh, at the moment uh, we are dealing with overseas uh, internships. I mean, without going there, uh, we are doing it in uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, but if you mean uh, to go overseas, uh, let's see. I mean, uh, we, don't, we can't promise right now, but uh, in future maybe, right? Yes. Uh, daytime or night time yes it depends on mostly if it is uh, us or uk yes uh, the times are uh, the times of uh, other particular countries uh, sessions yes thank you miss madani thank you mr nishi uh, now we can conclude uh, today's program thank you very much to everyone